Hi, welcome to another edition of Larry's First Impression Beer Reviews. Today, we are officially going to get hazy. That's an official beer. A hazy IPA from Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. Bell's is one of my favorite breweries. And when this hit the shelves, I'm like, it's Bell's. It's got to be good. So I don't know very much about the beer except for they were going to release it in uh, February and March. And um, so give me a second and just kind of review the can a little bit. I, I do like their font of the official and the blue color is, is, is awesome of that. It reminds me a lot of the old school um, softball uniform font that you would see back in the day. So it says a hazy Indiana Pale Ale. Pungent American hops combined with wheat and pills and malt results in a smooth, aromatic, juicy IPA. That sounds delicious. I'm a fan of IPAs. My favorite is doubles. This is not a double. Um, I like hazy IPAs probably second best. So let's see if uh, the official... Hazy IPA from Bell's measures up to my expectations. Love Bell's. I don't think I've very rarely had a beer that uh, didn't sort of like um, really impress me. So, um, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy. Let's get it into a glass. Let's see what the aromas are like, what the taste profile is like. Um, and uh, let's go. So, um, Bell's, official... A mantra is um, inspired brewing. So um, this must be an inspiration they have on the hazy IPA craze. Okay, so it's pouring out a nice golden yellow, a very almost lemonade-y kind of color. I got a fantastic head on this thing. And it is very aromatic. So when this is an aromatic, um, what did they say actually? Pungent American hops. Um, it's very aromatic right away, right off the top. Um, the can smells awesome. I hope it tastes every bit as good as that is smelling. Um, at 6.4, it's... A little higher in the middle of the road, so, um, hey, Bells. Oh, yeah, it smells delicious. Um, so, here's to Inspire Brewing, and here's to Bells Brewery. Oh, you're going to like this. You're going to like this, I, I, I guarantee it. Um, I think it might be it, it, it's almost too good the head is sticking around a lot um, the, the citrus flavors are definitely there uh, maybe the wheat gives it a unique sort of twist on it but um, this stuff is is awesome uh, the head is staying around really well, really foamy. Um, it's definitely hazy. I can't see through it at all. Got some nice lacing starting up on the top of the glass. Um, I, I dare say this is officially uh, a very, very good beer. Um, I don't like to give ratings because I think once I hit that number five, the search is over. So let's just say it's a definitely mid to high fours. Um, the label and the, there's no hype behind this. They just threw it on the shelves and it was rather inexpensive. I think I paid... $9.99 at the uh, supermarket for it. I wish that it was in cans. It'll probably come out in, in or excuse me, I wish it was in bottles. But um, 
Uh, this out of the can is, is, is awesome. I'm probably getting it out of the cans first because it's so efficient to get it into a can, get it into these little six pack cases, and get it on the shelves um, as opposed to bottles. But um, I, I, I might have to go get some. If I ever see it in the bottles, I'm going to try it in the bottles. But get yourself some of this official stuff. Um, I don't think it's going to keep me from being a double IPA guy, but it's 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 very very good. Um, and uh, put in like get yourself some of these these uh, IPA glasses. I think they do a great job with the little ribs in the glass to agitate the beer as it's being poured in and poured out. It's you you're gonna you're gonna open this can. And you're immediately going to start salivating. Um, bells keep the inspirations coming. Um, I think that this officially knocks it out of the park for me for hazy IPAs. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of them, and I haven't reviewed a whole lot of them on the channel, but it is definitely a style that is going to be around for a while. I think I did a I think I did a hazy IPA from one from Pigeon Hill called No Diggity, or no, no Dignity, um, because they were um, dead set against the style and they didn't want to do it. Um, but they jumped on the bandwagon, and um, I don't know if, if Bells was to the party with this one last year or not. I don't remember seeing this before. <clears throat> anyway, this is a very good beer. You won't be disappointed. Um, pick up a six pack. It's really inexpensive, and probably not going to be around for a long, for a long time. It's probably not going to fly off the shelves like their Hop Slam because it's not as well hyped or publicized. But I'm telling you right now, this video hope it gives it some hype because it's oh my gosh. I'm going to go back in just for one last sip, so you can see the enjoyment on my face. That's good stuff. Um, this six pack probably won't stay around for long. Anyway, I'm Larry. This is First Impression Beer Reviews. Uh, please subscribe. Check out my other videos. Hit the like. Feel free to comment. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this, so I hope you have as much fun watching the videos as I do enjoy drinking the beer. Um, with that, Rudder out. <laughs>